School budget crisis as Baltimore City schools face the largest budget gap in its history. Mayor Catherine Pugh appeals directly to the governor to fix the multi-million dollar program problem, but he says not so fast. WJC is live at city school headquarters, Avadori Burnett, with what city leaders say needs to happen to save hundreds of jobs and plug the gap. Avadori. Vic, good evening to you. The city wants the governor to help with a $130 million budget deficit, but the governor says the city needs to stop wasting money. We can't wait. The clock we is ticking. Wait. Parents, teachers, wait. even principals we converged on City Hall asking leaders to provide $130 million to close the budget gap. Anger at why why are we doing this on the backs of our kids? The mayor also took those same problems up the chain of command to Annapolis. We need help. And I've had conversations with the governor who's talked about how he wants to help Baltimore and in many ways has helped us. Just days ago, the governor told WJZ's Mayor Babala the city needs to do a better job at managing money. I promised the mayor and the legislature we're going to work together. They can't just keep saying, give us more money, give us more money, but we're not going to fix the problems. I mean, they've been you know, losing and wasting, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars, and it's a mess. There's just over 180 schools in the system, and the deadline to make the cuts is July 1st. Every single school will be impacted in some way. The school district says more than 1,000 jobs could disappear if they don't get the money. This former teacher and newly elected councilman is putting pressure on the governor. That's not good enough. He has a constitutional obligation to educate our kids, and they deserve every penny and everything in terms of education that we can give them. The city says funding from the state has not kept up with inflation, and that's why they're in this position in the first place. Reporting live tonight, Avajoy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Avajoy, thank you. Baltimore City Schools is among the jurisdictions that receive the most money from the state.